Turns out that this is like one of two ever. Like, I don't know how we keep running into the situation, but there's no other hako like this because it was completely stripped and acid dipped. It is amazing, amazing to see one of these in person. Hello and good morning. So, uh, we have a cool event today. We're actually gonna meet up with Paul, EJ. I'm not even sure what he's bringing, if he's bringing out Nora or the VRT. And we're gonna go out to have fun at the Lincoln Commons Car Show that's being presented by Low End Garage. So thank you guys so much for having us and just having such a cool event. It is 7.30 in the morning. We just got gas and we're gonna start the day. We're gonna go meet up at Streets and then um, head out all the way to the city. Paul and all them went last year. I had an event or work or something and I couldn't make it. So this is gonna be my first time and I'm really, really excited. Oh man, it makes me so happy this car's back. I wonder if these people are going. Oh, it's a midget. It's an MG midget. It's so cool. And then an old Mustang. That's awesome. Look at that. Already two decent car spawnings, and it's only 8.01 in the morning. Awesome. We're gonna be getting in the streets here in just a second. Um, I'm not sure if anyone else is there yet, because I'm, for once, on time. That is kind of crazy. So, I'm not sure if this video came out yet but I had my car die right here. And this is actually the first time that this car has been there since then. So that's pretty sweet. Long story short is we met a group on accident, a different 996 group that's completely meeting separately. And so I just happened to stumble upon them. Me and Paul are just gonna go by ourselves and meet up with the rest of the group when we're there. That's the event and uh, it's nuts and I'm here so a lot of people are climbing up this garage which is gonna be really cool there's, there's an Aston in my mirror like man this is nuts I'm really excited I've never been here before and it's it's so cool oh there's a Phil's right here I'm gonna have to, oh. Tiffany's not here today because she's at work unfortunately Everyone's ripping up here, so I'll do one for you as well. <laughs> okay, so I just parked and had to through um, line. Like, it's tight. Everybody is backed in. We are gonna have quite the experience. We're just gonna walk around at first. I have to pee really bad, so I'm gonna do that first and then come back up, so hang tight. Got some stuff at Phil's, and it's really loud in here, so I'm not recording a lot. But um, we're having lunch with, uh, or breakfast, I guess. It's only 10 o'clock. See, it feels like lunchtime, because it's been that much happening already. It's only 10 o'clock. We're having breakfast with Za and EJ, which are right over there. Um, and eggs. also, John John's here, too. So it's going to be really cool. Um, there's, it's honestly overwhelming. Like, there's, there's literally so much, and I'm already trying to think about what I can do. 
I've already accepted the fact that I'm not going to be able to shoot everything today, but I'm going to do as much as I can for all you guys just to see the experience and just experience what this is like because if you've never been to the show, I highly recommend that you go. Even if you don't have a car, just come because this is like the most insane thing I've been to in pretty much all my years of ever going to any car meets ever. So 100% go low end. I already commend you so much for this event. It's, it's been amazing. So we're hanging out with the RWB all the time. It's crazy. That's something I'll never get over. And it's just so, so cool. And especially to have the history behind that being Nakai's actual one, that's that's something else on its own. So um, it's always an honor to shoot this thing. And it's just, it's so cool. So um, EJ, thank you for, for all of the opportunities that you've given me and my team. Um, seriously, I wouldn't even be here without you. So just saying, thank you. And it's always a pleasure to see this thing. Like. You, like, this thing never, ever gets old. Like, you see it every time, and you're always stunned every single time. It's so cool. Yeah. So the hardest part about events like this is that I only have one body at the moment. I do have another body, but I want to shoot full frame the whole time. So once I pretty much have to go around, do a whole lap on just video, doing vlogs, and then on top of that, doing the actual video, I unfortunately don't have my gimbal. I didn't bring my gimbal today like a dumb because I just, I didn't know I was gonna use it. I didn't know what to expect either, so I, I really should have brought it. So everything that you're gonna see in the feature is gonna be handheld. I wasn't intending to do a feature, but I think with all the amount of footage that I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get one. There will be a feature coming out on this, so it's just a lot of work because I'm gonna have to go around, and then once I finish all the video, I have to go back around and do photo on a different lens and everything, so. It's gonna be a little busy today, but it's gonna be so much worth it. It's, at, it's 11, they close at one, so we gotta do it pretty quick. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is STO? What just happened, dude? You want to go that way? Yeah, how do you want to? Do we want, well, do you want your jacket first? No, actually, it's nicer up now here. Now it's nice? It's nice, yeah, it's actually nice. Wow. I want to know what it felt like up here, because down there it's cold. Look at me. This parked up to all these Porsches. That's nuts. That's so cool. Let me get my film camera if I can get my keys. Film of choice is going to be the Cinestill 400D. I'm actually going to be using a camera that Paul gave me. It's a uh, Minolta, an old school point and shoot. Man, it's going to be so cool. Two, three, out right now. Well, three. Well, this, this one, two, three. This, this one, one, two, three. Seven one lenses. Bag, like seven lenses. The John Wick style. Exactly. All, all cameras. <laughs> oh my God, dude. This is, wow. <laughs> Just doing a really, really quick walk around everything. I really want one of these because I would want to get like a Bronco, like a two-door Bronco though. I don't want the four-door one. It's too much. Oh, look at that.
just in this garage alone, right? It's it's nuts, dude. I know. It's nuts. Oh yeah, we should get the hako before it leaves. Paul, we need to find the owner. Oh my god. That's crazy. Two separate keys. Hey, what's the what's the now? Uh, like 320? 320? Yeah. Holy crap. It is completely redone. So clean. Yeah. That's amazing. This Hako behind me, uh, I just met the owner. His name is Rodney. He's super, super cool. It turns out that this is like one of two ever. Like, I don't know how we keep running into the situation, but there's no other Hako like this because it was completely stripped and acid dipped. Like, it's a completely fully rebuilt Hako and it's from 1970 which he told me is actually super rare because the 70s they only produced 1970 models for three months so this is a really really rare version it is amazing to see one of these in person and um, like I said I've been hunting for this car for a long time ever since I saw it so I'm really really excited about it God Ugh. it's so good Oh my god, <laughs> what a day. I don't even know how to explain any of that. That was amazing. We got to meet a lot of really, really cool people. So everyone that we did meet today, thank you. This is amazing. I, uh, first of all, low, low end, you guys put on such an amazing show and everybody. I guess we're out of here. I got it. We, me and Paul have a wedding to shoot. So uh, we're gonna get out of here, but man, I, I have no no words and we made some really cool connections so i'm really hoping that some cool stuff happens of those things man i'm so excited and this thing i mean to have the is 300 here like come on like come on it's <laughs> it's awesome to have it here and have it back i am uh following a supra out of here and it's it's funny because i'm like a little baby supra you know what i mean <laughs> Man, this is awesome. I had such a, such a good time. So it's been such an amazing trip all day today and we're just getting out of the garage. So like I said, if you guys are new here, please consider liking and subscribing to the channel. We had such a good time. I cannot wait to be back. Low End Garage, thank you for putting on such an amazing, amazing event. I will see you guys next time. See you on the other side. It's so day out, no, it's so bright outside that it, I need, Paul, we need, we need a, sorry, I'm deaf now. Oh, I probably should have opened the door. met the owner his name is Rodney he's super super cool so we talked and let's just say something might be coming but I hope <laughs>